Right, it's been a while since last done a video. Struggling to keep consistent with these at the minute. Where it's dead busy, but I found a bit of time. Um, there's quite a bit going on with the car, quite a bit of got in the pipeline come in. Um, bumper, this is one of them things I've never really tried to sort of, I try and skip it when I'm on camera, but we you can see that on the camera. But the difference in color between this and the, the two panels is like ridiculous, it's embarrassing. And the orange peel, there's no shine to it whatsoever. It's awful. So that's going in for a respray, um, and then I can do the same video as I've done with that side. How to get rid of the fog light altogether with that cover up, which I think just looks a lot cleaner. Uh, the plan was when I did the um, fog light bulb video on this side, um, I, I was going to keep this one with the hold and then use the hold for when I end up fitting the cold air induction and then fitting some gauze behind there and a. Uh, dust and waterproof bag around the filter but I changed my mind I want to get rid of that altogether have one like that black, um, completely blocked up and then either dremel out some of the honeycomb holes or grind it down so I'm left with just the honeycomb and um, fit the gauze that way I don't know which way I'm going to do that yet but once I've got the bump props that's going to be a few videos I'll, I'll try and sort of split it into segments so you know one just people just might want the bumper on and off I know some people still just like doing headlights that way to get to the grill, which is well in need. Oh, that's been years now, it looks awful. I didn't, I, I rushed it anyway at the time. There's so many bits I messed up on it where it's just nowhere near enough uh, material on there. The light, I'm gonna try and put out on another way. Um, get the holes filled up when it's gonna respray so I can get a shortened plate and put it on the little plinth behind this plinth. There's another one, which I think is just, I think it's just a, that little bit shorter than a six digit, the, the, the legal requirement for a six digit number plate, which I think is 16 inches, something like that. But anyway, so I've got a few coming up, so hopefully I'll be able to get more, yeah, a bit more consistent, but today I'm gonna do the, I've got a short shifter, which is down there, that one with the green ball joint on the other end. So the instructions say to do the um, air hose, but I think, I'm going to do the battery more for sort of getting the camera in there as well. It's pretty well, straightforward. Obviously, you've got a ball joint on either end of... Hold on, let me try to focus. On either end of the one with the green joint and then that nut there holding it down. So that's your linkage from the... When you're moving your gears to the ground, that's what that's moving around. So, and then in there, finds what gear you've obviously moved it to. So on the bottom of here, there's a ball joint. Uh, like the the male side of it the knuckle um all i want to do is knock that off first get in there try and give it clean with some like all-purpose cleaner and a rag re-grease it and then undo the nut and then it should be straight swap with this kit i've got here so like i said the instructions do say to do that air hose um i've seen that online as well with some other branded ones but for me I think I'm going to be okay. I mean, it's either or, it's either the bracket on the air hose, the clip which is obviously in the wrong position for me to get to, and then the two Allen key heads on there, or two terminals, strap holding it down, then the three bolts take the plate out, and that should help me video it a little bit better as well. I'm not sure. So I'm going to go ahead and take the battery out first. So I've got a battery and the plate it sits on out so we can see a lot better now. So where am I? Well I said I can see a lot better. I can see a lot better. So all we've got is the ball joint at where's my hand? This end under here. And then that end can just stay on because the pack comes with a new plate as well. And then just this bolt. But we don't want to move be moving this around like too much in there we want this to go on the new one to go on to the same rotation so see it's facing say the way i'm looking at it stood out my engine bay nine o'clock we want it to stay at nine o'clock as well so in the instructions it says to knock that end off first which obviously you want to do it's done and then hold grips against this while you're under that but i don't know how tight that's going to be so what i'm going to do is while that ball joint on the far end is still holding this you know it moves around but it's, it's at least it's in the right position 
I'm going to try and undo this, just break it enough so it's hand tight before I take that off because then I know it's, it's, it's going to stay where it is because of the shape. It can't just spin. It can't just, you know, it's going to stay. As long as that bolt's hold, uh, the nut's holding it down, we're good. So I'm going to do it the, the opposite of the way they say. I'm going to take, I'm going to loosen that, and then undo this end. Then I'll come back to this end and do it by hand. As long as the next one goes on in the same rotation, so like facing that way, we're good. So this is the, I could try to do this one handed now. Hold on, no I'm not. Get this tripod out, I'm messing around. So here's the new one. It does say on there to grease them up, so I've stuck a little bit of extra in there. You don't know how long they've been sat on the shelf for. There's the pins that hold them in once you've got the ball joint in. Spin it round, and it slides out those two holes there. That's it. So I've already stuck a bit of extra grease on these. So we know how that one's good, so it's going to be like that. Like I say, that one that we're pushing out now, we're going to try and take off, it's going to be in that orientation, facing up. So on the other side is the knuckle, like on this plate here, it's going to be facing down into this. So we just want to keep that end, keep this nut on there, push that down, undo that nut, replace it, put that nut back on first before we knock anything, knock it out of orientation, then just knock that ball joint on, we should be good. Right, that's the best position I can find for the camera for now. So, I'm gonna loosen this nut first. Make me look a mug on camera. So that's why you don't want to take it all the way off first because it moves around that much. But I know that's loose now. So I could just do that back down. Then try and get in here and knock the other end off. I might have to pry this. This feels like it ain't gonna go. So we're flattened now. Obviously this old one doesn't look like it's got a pin to hold the ball, ball joint on. This just looks like. Right, so that's what I want to be careful now. Keeping that where it is. I mean, I can see this new one being a rubber ball lake. But before I start moving anything around, I'm going to sit this end back on the way it came off. I'm putting that nut back on before anything moves. So we know this end is good.
Oh no, that slid on easy enough, but oh, mate, this is gonna be a bull leg. Let's see me dropping this. Um <laughs> oh man. Oh, I need a fucking octopus to give me a hand. Um Oh, Jesus. Oh, I felt good that. Um, so in the end, I didn't realise, I, I think I pressed pause and played that many times, swearing and getting them out of my tits. I ended up holding it along those pliers down this gap. And then it just, my little baby hands, got all the way. You can, yeah, you can see, you can see to there, look, my, the tips of the long nose pliers are touching it now. So I think that's the way to start off. Just go in and do it like that from the start. Whew. Right, now I'll go and try and do the comparison video. Hopefully it all works. After I nip that up. Oh no, no, I've nipped that up, nipped that up. So yeah, now we're all good. Now I can just go and test it. Oh yeah, 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 straight away, straight away. <laughs> oh, I feel so much better straight away. It's one of them things I could show you on camera. It's whatever, look, you can see the... Ooh. Yeah, that feels good, that feels good. Oh, I like that, I like that. Let me do the armrest, let me do the armrest. Oh yeah, yeah, look, it's all wrist, all wrist. I like that. Not have to really sort of... You know, swing your whole arm around, it's just... Oh, yeah. That's the one that is. That's sound. Oh, it's loads better. Why they never did this with the original? You know, it just doesn't suit the car having that sloppy, like, that wide of a throw. It's massive. You know, like a bus. Jesus. That's, uh... Oh, that's so much better. I think, I think this was, a. Uh... 60% reduction in throw. Um, the other option was at 80, and I was like, I don't fancy that. I'll end up going from like that, that, that'll just be way too much. And I give it a little flick, and you're gone up again. I mean, don't get me wrong, yeah, obviously, you do, do that, but just that little bit that's nice. That is that's sound. The only thing I will say when putting this battery cover back on, if you're going to do it the way I did it is when you put it back on the two little drains this drains fine in this corner here but when this has been off before for well whatever reason and why that hose there gets easily kinked and it goes down the middle straight down there but the way you slide it back on to get it over that stud that front hole this obviously must be a common thing to catch and end up kinking thank you much. it's not like flood your tray or anything you've got two um, drains but if you're going to put it back in you know might as well just get it back in properly but yeah sorted hopefully I'll try and cut down all the messing around I had trying to find the best way to put it in but yeah fairly straightforward like I said I loosened that kept it down low enough just to keep it in place stop it moving out of position undo that end that was that was easier that I thought that was going to be harder than it was taking it off 
taking that off yeah a bit of a ball like i had to get the gear pullers in there but putting that back on was the worst bit of the job but um even then still didn't take it that long i don't think i think that was all right if i had the camera and had to mess around getting the light in there that wouldn't have been too bad of a job i don't think like i say i took the battery out and the plate but the um different instructions i've seen do say take out this hose but i think it's either or whichever one you want to do you know that'll probably help you see more but i think this helps you access more you know because with the battery there you're sitting somewhere up on this corner here anyway the battery is what ends there so i think it's either or with that but yeah so that's loads better i can't wait to go for a drive and get out of test now but yeah so if you enjoyed the video or found it helpful please like and subscribe and thanks for watching